in this tutorial we are gonna talk about top 10 scripting language in devops 2020 software engineers and it professionals often get confused when it comes to learn which programming or scripting language is good for their career as a devops engineer this has led several of our readers to ask what are the best programming or scripting language for a devops engineer and each programming or scripting knowledge is mandatory to learn DevOps. So let's dig answer to all these questions. After reading this article, you will be able to understand scripting language, difference between compiler and interpreter, difference between programming language and scripting language. Programming or scripting knowledge is required or not to learn DevOps. Machine language is the lowest language level of the programming language and is the only one which computer can understand for us humans. It is not possible to write a program in machine language, which we often say binary code 0 1 this is the reason we use high level programming language which in the in converted into machine language to run on a computer or system but the thing here is to understand what is scripting language we must understand the difference between programming and scripting language they both are high level language and used to instruct a machine now the question here is if both are used for the same purpose then why we have two different names as far as the language structure concerned, they both are the same. In fact, we can say all scripting language are programming language. The major difference is scripting language does not require pre compilation rather they are interpreted. So let's try to understand what exactly is compilation and interpretation means. Compiler takes the complete source file at once and convert into the machine code with final executable which will be platform dependent and can be run on a desirable platform to produce desirable outputs. The interpreter also does the same thing to compile the high level language to machine language. But it does it line by line at run time which means whenever it encounters the statement it converts the corresponding machine code which will be executed to produce output. Compiler source code privacy fast platform dependent require extra compilation step. It read and analyze the code only once interpreter can work on cross platform no source code privacy slow no extra compilation delay it re read and analyze the code statement each time we can understand the difference between programming and scripting language with this point programming language it used to create a standard application which we can install anywhere based on the platform for which we have programmed it it used compiler to convert high level language into machine language Example C, C++, Java. In programming language, whatever software we make, we use one particular language to create that application or software. Which means, let's suppose we have made complete software with C language. That it means that software is completely based on C language only. Scripting language. It used to create a web application or similar like softwares. It used interpreter to convert high level language into machine language. Example JavaScript, PHP, Python, Bash. Here let's suppose we have made a software in PHP. Then it's possible to use HTML or Java. Which means we can use scripting language with multiple programming language. Each programming or scripting knowledge is required to learn DevOps. Python Python is amongst the top scripting language which is used for high level programming. It was first released in the year 1991 by Guido. It is a great choice these days for beginners up to professionals. Python is used for web development, data science, creating software prototypes and various other things. It is available under Python software foundation license. It supports cross platform features. Python features easy to read, learn and write. As its simple language, it improved productivity. Interpreted language, dynamically typed, free and open source, fast library support, portability, write once and run it anywhere. And second of the best, best is short for AK bond, again cell and it is a super set of cell scripting. It is a basically a command language which is available in open source and written by Brian Fox in the year 1989. It is mainly used for software developers and system admins to automate most of the tasks. It can read scripts and the most commonly used unique cell. Best supports Linux, Windows and Mac OS. The feature of the best, easy to use to automate the repeated conducted operations it save time to run sequence of instruction as only one command quick start and interactive debugging it can be implemented in any unix like operating system without any modifications and next of the go language go scripting language belong to the internet giant google this scripting language is written by robert grismer rob pike and ken thompson and it was released in the year 2009 it supports Linux, Mac OS, FreeBSD, NetBSD, OpenBSD, Windows, Plan, 9 Dragon, Flight, BSD, and Solaris operating system. It is available in open source. The feature of the Go language. Go language has a standard library. Go language is well known for its memory management capabilities. 
Go language comes with inbuilt powerful testing tools. It's based on function which make it simple, easy and fast to learn. It is used for different platforms, Windows, Linux, Unix, VST version and mobile devices. Go language had efficient co-currency like C, C, C++, Java. And next of the Ruby. Ruby is amongst one of the best programming language but is also a scripting language which is written by Yukiro Machitomoto in the year 1995. Ruby supports cross-platform and it is available under GPL and PhD license. It supports multiple programming paradigms including functional, object-oriented and imperative. After the Ruby, easy to learn and master. There are so many libraries and frameworks available. Can start learning Ruby on Rails and make web applications much faster and easily. Ruby is open source and is freely available on the web but is subject to license. Ruby is very much scalable and easily maintainable. And next of the Groovy. Groovy can be used as a scripting language and it is also considered as a top scripting language for DevOps professionals. It was designed by James Station and developed by Guillaume Lefort, Joseph Throdo, Paul King and Cadric Champu. It was first released in the year 2003 and available under Apache license. It supports Java platform. The feature of the Groovy. Starting and dynamic typing. Groovy is supported by wide range of frameworks, Jenkins, pipelines, use of the power of Groovy. Support for unit testing, it can easily integrate with your existing interface, concise, brief, direct, syntax. Relatively short learning curve, easy to learn for Java developer, native support for regular expression, syntax, associative arrays. Perl is a practical extraction and reporting language, it is a high level interpreted dynamic programming and scripting language written by Larry Bell and first released in the year 1987. It was especially designed for test editing but these days broadly used for various purposes which include system administration, network programming, web development, etc. Perl is quite popular for extracting data and generating reports. So the Microsoft PowerShell. Microsoft PowerShell or Windows PowerShell is belong to Microsoft and open source. Yes, you read it correct open source automation framework and scripting language. It provides a command line shell and scripting language which is integrated with the .NET framework and ca it can be embedded with other applications. If you have application infrastructure with Windows, then PowerShell is must for you. This scripting language is designed for system admin. Feature of the Microsoft PowerShell: easy to understand and use, automate system repetitive tasks, countless possibility of query and reporting. It is more extensible via sim deadlines and plugins it support dotnet object and forms it run on single thread and hence it can invoke any dotnet library concept of background job powershell is interactive and next of the javascript javascript is the world most popular and widely used programming and client side scripting language it was developed by livescript by netscape in the year 1990 and renamed to javascript in the year 1995 and became and ECMA, European Computer Manufacturers Association, a standard in 1997. It is an observer. Java scripts add and enhance interactivity and dynamic consequence to the web pages by manipulating the content written from the web server. If you are good at it, then you can develop games, animated 2D and 3D graphics, comprehensive database drive apps, and much more. The feature of the JavaScript is easy to learn compared to the other popular language. All popular web browsers support JavaScript. JavaScript is very fast. JavaScript can be inserted into any web pages. Being cliented side reduces the demand of the website server, gives the ability to create rich interface. And next of the Terraform. Terraform is developed by HashiCorp and it is an open source tool for building, changing and versioning infrastructure safely and efficiently. Written in Go programming language, professionals use various tools to automate the provisioning of software. Terraform work on the same principal infrastructure as code but focus on the automation of the infrastructure itself. It can provision any application written in any language to any infrastructure. The feature of the Terraform it uses a custom language known as SCL HashiCorp configuration language. It was designed to compromise the human readable and the machine friendly language. And next of the Ansible. Ansible is known as a configuration management and application deployment tool but it can also be used to write script. It belongs to Red Hat, Enterprise, Linux, REHL and written by its community members. Ansible uses playbook to describe automation jobs and it uses very simple language like YAML. It's a human readable data serialization language and commonly used for configuration files but could be used in many applications where data is being stored which is very easy for humans to understand, read and write. The feature of the Ansible. 
सिमलेस डिप्लॉयमेंट इजी ऑटोमेशन वेरी हेल्पफुल सिस्टम एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर्स पॉपुलर डेवलप्स टूल्स